hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for this coming out here may god bless you all an elder statesman chukwe maker az fee has cried out that indigo had not been recognized in nigeria that the way nigerian government is treating in the Igbos is just like they are pushing them out we don't want to make it make on go and also recall that these are and one of the major reasons now they can know they're not asking the Nigerian government to give them freedom, let them, you know, go to their own nation when they decide how things, you know, goes in their nation. According to the agitators, they are not being carried along. There is no juicy um, a position in Nigeria you will find an Igbo man. It's just like the Igbos are being cut off. But the worst part of it is that the Nigerian government do not want to, you know, uh, consider all these things. They are busy fighting those who are saying, see, what you are doing is not fair. Instead of them to look into the roots of the agitations in the southeast region, at least these people are saying something. You understand? They're not just they make noise because they won't talk. The best way to go about all these issues here and there is listen to people who are talking that is how they know a good leader a good leader is a good listener you understand when people are talking you listen then the next thing is solution but if you talk say because you be leader then anything one person they talk anyhow you like now you go to you understand and you go to use force they do whatever thing you are doing at the end of the day you are going to fail. You don't use you don't use force, you know, to settle issue, or you don't use war to settle issue. What you use for things like this is love. You draw these people, you sit down and you discuss. You understand? Not the way the Nigerian government is going about the issues, you know, affecting, you know, uh, the nation. Anyway, guys, let's get straight to the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to our YouTube ch channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. An elder statesman, Chukwe Maker, as if he has expressed his displeasure over the way and manner which the present administration is treating the Igbos. Speaking during an interview, he urged that despite being one of the three major tribes in the country, people from the tribe are not giving choosy appointments to back his claim. He mentioned the non, no one from the Igbo extraction can be found in the National Security Council, which where issues relating to the country's security are being discussed. He also stated that when you talk of the railway project, which this administration is known for, none was given to the Igbos. His ways. The present federal government of Nigeria seems to be pushing the southeast out of Nigeria by their policies, activities, statements, appointments, and by all they are doing, it is like they don't want the Igbos. For the railway project, None is given to the Igbos. No major appointment to the Igbos. There are all kinds of things against the Igbos. We have we we have three main tribes in Nigeria: the Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. Do you find the Igbo in your National Security Council? That is a knockout, he said. Hmm. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, this is really very wrong. You understand? Anyway, let's quickly get to the comment section and hear what Nigerians have to say concerning this. Most Igbos are treacherous, therefore cannot be trusted. They had shown what they are capable of. On the 15th January 1966, since then, the remaining major tribes in Nigeria kept most of them at arm's length, and that has not changed to show 
they are not to be trusted. Look at how many of them support the terrorist Namdekano and his terrorist organization, IPO. Hmm. Really? So when, I don't think that is right. Namdekano is a freedom agitator, not a terrorist. Okay. You see this issue of this 1960 or whatever, the Nigerian government have refused to let go. That is the, the reason why the Igbos are being treated the way they are being treated today. We just have to forge ahead. You understand? This hatred have to stop. The Igbos, they are part of this country. If Nigerian government will not, will not address this, even the fifth generation to come, this problem will still be there. If this is not addressed, the fifth generation is to come, the problem will still be there. None of the can, like I said it, when I started this, uh, this uh, news, I said it. None of the canoe is agitating today because the Igbos are being cut off. If you can listen very well to what the man said, he said, no Jewish appointment or position in Nigeria, you will find an Igbo man. And that is the reason why those who are killing in the Southeast are killing because there is nobody to say, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Let's do it this way. Okay, a very good example. Last week, the Abbey Court discharged Nandikano. He was, he was discharged and acquitted. Boom, AGF Malami said no. Now the can can never be free. Not even now. The the president convened a meeting. He called the the security council. They gathered. I never know I never see where security council they do meeting for waiting courts don't don't already order. Now Nigeria now we will see this kind of thing. Boom, they can't send them the canoe. No go feel leave, no go feel leave, uh, DSS uh, detention. All this has hap All these are happening because there is no Igbo man to even defend Nandekanu there. They know that what they did is was wrong. They know. How can you counter the 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 orders of the court? You will tell us that you are you are the law. And you will go against the law. All these things are happening because there is nobody there. Make with the tech, make with the talk the truth. Igbos are not being well treated as Nigerians. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts.